This video is generously sponsored by Elite Force Airsoft BBs. What's in your mag? And is unofficially sponsored by Voodoo Tactical, because Jason Conroy gets upset when I wear 511 stuff. Hmm. Hello YouTube. For those of you that know who I am, you already know who I am, right? For those of you that don't, well, just assume that I'm somebody who's pretty cool that maybe you want to hang out with a little bit more often. Obviously, I've got the minerals to wear this sweet hat, so I must be kind of cool, right? Today, I'm going to be talking about a sexy little Italian bird I like to refer to as the Beretta M92 FS, which is a gas blowback pistol from Elite Force. And when I say the sexy little Italian bird, I mean the kind that sort of starts off as an ugly or disappointing duckling the first time you see it, but as the more time you spend with it, the more you appreciate it and the more you see it as an attractive swan. Clifton P. Eisenbarger Top Hot Dog at Elite Force is probably going to be pretty pissed when he sees this review. Uh, I know this is one of his special babies, but I plan ahead for these types of things and plan on purchasing him numerous shots of rumple mints the next time he and I are at the bar together. So at that point, I figure things will probably work themselves out. So don't you worry about me. So let's get on with the review, shall we? Allow me to run you through the specifications and features of this, this sweet little piece here. Uh, first up, we've got the orange tip. I'm pretty sure that was added just to piss off all you people out there who don't like playing by the rules. Here's a shot of the entire gun lying atop a very sexy and attractive Voodoo Tactical Level 3 Assault Pack. Look at all those carabiners, because I'm so tactical. I will admit one of them is a 511 carabiner. Sorry, Jay. Here's the other side of the gun, scrum diddly umptious. Here's a view of the backside, because we all love that angle, right? Yeah, looking good. Check out those white dot sights. Super handy for acquiring your targets, I will say. Here you can see that the Beretta logo has imposed its will upon the grips of the gun, which I find to be a nice touch because I think Beretta has a pretty sweet logo. This is obviously a close-up of the trademarks on the slide. They read, p p uh, excuse me, pi Pitro Beretta? I don't know. Very odd name. Then somebody misspelled the word garden. The initials VT are inscribed immediately following, which I can only assume refers to Voodoo Tactical. And apparently somebody over at Beretta, KWC, or Elite Force, maybe all of the above, loves peanut butter, but not jelly because they left off the J there and just stamped PB onto the slide. Look at that. Beretta trademarks licensed by Beretta Italy then below on the lower frame towards the muzzle, it says made for Umarex, Germany. News flash, World War II was over a long time ago, Beretta. You don't have to appease the Germans any longer. In fact, with America being on top of its game, I would have liked to seen this say made for Umarex, USA. Then lastly, you can see there that KWC had to leave their mark as well. Obviously they made the gun. If anyone knows what KWC stands for, please post up the answer in the comments below. If anyone doesn't know what it stands for, but has a funny alternative definition for what it could mean, please post that as well. Here's the gas magazine. It's a double stacker, so you'll get probably between 20 to 25 rounds. I'm a little too lazy to look up the exact number, I will be honest. But I'm going to take a trip to Negative Town here for a moment because I'm such a rebellious little blogger. The BBs don't stay in the mag very well. When you've got them loaded in and you've got the mag outside of the gun, if you really pretty much so much as just sort of touch or think about touching the BB that's sitting there at the top of the magazine, they just kind of pop right out. Uh, a little too easily for, for my tastes. When the magazine is inserted, there is no issue, and that's really the most important uh, thing here. So it's not really a deal breaker per se, but something that does annoy me, kind of like people who stare at my beard and don't say hello to it. 
A shot of the undercarriage shows us this beauty comes with an attachment point for a retention lanyard because you do not want to let her get away from you. So there she is in a delicious little nutshell for you. I will say that I have played with this pistol now at least once or twice and have shot it in my backyard a number of times is at a few targets. Um, not really not really a bad piece, especially for the price. It's not going to be something that the more experienced veteran Milsim players are going to probably be real impressed with just because of the, the plastic external parts here, namely the slide. But the gun does work. It works pretty well, I will say. I am not so wild about the fixed hop-up here, but again, the fact that they've knock the price down so much you know I'm sure they had to cut costs somewhere um, if it is adjustable then I do apologize for giving you wrong information but they have made it very difficult to find the adjustment knob if that is the case I uh, did take the slide off and look for it and didn't see anything that really kind of jumped out at me and so that's what I'm that's what I'm going with right now um, the other thing I trust the safety on this thing about as much as I trust the French, which is pretty much not at all. Um, the one time, there, there was one time when I had it switched on and, you know, tested it to see if it was really functional or not, and the gun actually did fire. So, Elite Force Quality Control, you might want to look into that. That really shouldn't be, I know it sounds like a terrible thing, but it really shouldn't be an issue because one of the major rules of gun safety, whether it's an airsoft gun or a firearm, is always treat the gun as if it's loaded. Never, uh, another rule would be never point it at something that you don't wish to destroy. So, provided you're following the gun safety rules, uh, that really, shouldn't be too much of an issue but not ideal less than optimal some may say i do apologize for being honest how dare i but that's how i roll on a higher note gun is very accurate and i have gone ahead and included some range footage for you where i'm shooting at the target i've also included some rather boring gameplay action footage for you filmed at the insight interactive CQB facility in Rancho Cucamonga, California. So thank you for joining me here on the Pyramid Airsoft channel. My name is the Tominator and I am wearing a sweet hat. It's science, I think. Uh, please enjoy the rest of your evening, afternoon, day, what have you. And perhaps subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more updates. And also check out various updates, blogs, ramblings, pictures, etc. on our Airsoft blog that I write for PyramidAir.com. That address is airsoftblog.com. Links are all in the description below. Please check us out on Facebook as well. Make sure you like our page. We do have a weekly giveaway for 50 bucks. 50 bucks! All you have to do is upload a photo of yourself featuring an Airsoft gun with an orange tip that is not pointed in an unsafe direction or you don't have your finger on the trigger and it doesn't mm, degrade other human beings it's not racist it's not off or otherwise offensive um, there's actually a whole list of written rules you can see on that page I'm not going to go into many more detail about it but if you like free money and to be honest with you right now the odds of you winning are very good um, check it out, but make sure you like our page because otherwise that's kind of like you're just using us for the contest and you're not really giving anything back and that's selfish. Thanks for watching. Check out more things from me in the future. I am rambling. Goodbye.